guys, what is up and welcome back to another Call of Duty Mobile video. Now over here today, we're going to go ahead and look at some official news regarding Stage 2 of the 2020 World Cup of Call of Duty Mobile. Now guys, today's video is going to be a little bit longer than usual because there is a whole lot of information to go ahead and cover in this video. So I hope all of you guys are excited for that. But anyway guys, I do have a few quick announcements. My giveaway came to an end yesterday and here are the five winners. Apex Go. Pure X James, Chris YT, Bloodshot Gaming, VX Sky, VX. Guys, those were the five winners of the previous giveaway. Now, because you guys showed so much support throughout the last few weeks, I am starting a new giveaway, and it is going to be for three more battle passes. And like always, guys, the steps are exactly the same. All you have to do to enter is just subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, and then also go ahead and leave a comment of your in-game name or your email address so I can go ahead and contact you if you do win. But anyway, guys, with all of that out the way, I hope all of you are excited, but let's hop right into this video. So, just so you guys do know, all the information I'm about to go ahead and show you guys is all official news coming from COD Mobile's website. Now, I also do want to go ahead and say, guys, we do not have an official date for when Stage 2 is coming out. Because as you guys do know, Season 7 was delayed, so we have no idea when Stage 2 is actually going to go ahead and go live. But over here, guys, they do start the article by saying Stage 2 Regional Tournament Players Who Qualified for Stage 2 Only. So, guys, if you did not qualify, you cannot participate in Stage 2, and also you will know if you have qualified if you go to your inbox on car mobile and it does say congratulations you have qualified for stage two then they go on to say it's up to each player to join or create a team of five or six players who have all qualified for stage two in order to compete in stage two of the call of duty world championship 2020 so as you guys do see you have to be in a team to go ahead and continue into stage two this will be your team for the entirety of stage two so choose wisely each player has been notified via game inbox if they have qualified for stage two. So as you guys can see, if you receive this inbox over here, you have qualified and now what you want to do is form a team or join a team of five to six players to go ahead and continue into stage two. Now over here guys, they do go ahead and show you all the rewards. So basically, play 30 ranked multiplayer matches with your team and unlock the Phantom Championship 2020 Soldier. And I'm gonna be honest guys, I think the Soldier looks extremely damn cool. It's definitely a cool Soldier. It's basically the normal Phantom, but he has gold around his body. I think that's an extremely, extremely cool reward. Now moving on guys, the next reward is gonna be for some card points. The top 512 teams per region will advance to the regional qualifiers which is going to be stage three and they will each win 1000 card points which is also a very very cool reward over this as you guys can see the rewards for stage two is going to be the phantom championship 2020 skin as well as if you go into the top 512 teams per region you're also going to go ahead and get 1000 card points which is pretty cool rewards in my opinion now moving on guys how all of this is going to work so basically guys a team can play up to 30 ranked multiplayer matches during stage two the first 30 ranked multiplayer matches will be scored and points are given to the team for ranked multiplayer matches wins five of the six team members must play in a ranked multiplayer match together to score points now guys i'm sure the scoring is going to work similar to stage one basically depending on what rank you are you are going to go ahead and get certain points for every win you do go ahead and get and just like with stage one guys the higher rank you are the more points you're going to get and the lower rank you are the less points you are going to go ahead and get and then go on to say this guys these points will be used to determine the top 512 teams per region that will qualify for the regional finals which is going to be stage three the amount of points earned in stage two is based off the team's average player ranks so like i said guys the higher rank you are the more points you are going to get per game that you do go ahead and win teams who have six players on the roster can change the lineup of their starting roster between matches so if you have five players guys they have to play the whole time but if you have six you'll be able to go ahead and swap out players in between games but anyway guys moving on they go ahead and say team progress will be tracked and accessible via the in games esport page just like in stage one guys you can go ahead and check how you're doing your wins and your losses and if you're going to be able to qualify for the next stage but anyway guys moving on to team owners now the team owner is going to be a very very important part to 
a team and they go ahead and say this the player who creates the team will be deemed the team owner the team owner is responsible for entering the team huids and the last four digits of their open ids the team owner is also responsible for entering a team name so when you guys go ahead and select your team owner make sure you go ahead and choose some very responsible because as you guys can see there are quite a few responsibilities of the team owner but anyway guys moving on when registering a team first read and agree to all the official rules now guys there are a lot of rules i mean like pages and pages of rules so i have the link to all of this down below in the description so you guys can go ahead and check out the rules for yourself as well as the whole link to this whole website so you guys can go ahead and read everything for yourself again so those are going to be the official rules of stage two and then tap the create a team button on the landing page to so the in-game sign up now guys over here they're talking about the actual like website to where you go ahead and sign up for stage two that is not released yet but indeed that will be in the game when stage two does go live so anyway guys over here you'll see where to enter the team's name the teammates uids and the last four digits of your teammates open ids and again guys all of this will be done by the team owner so anyways moving on again guys this over here is very important in order to play these matches, your team needs to be close enough in rank to queue for ranked matches together. So basically what they're saying guys, you and your team need to be at a similar rank to be able to play together. But that's always been like that, so it does make sense guys. So just make sure you and all of your teammates are at a similar rank so you guys can go ahead and play together. But right now on the screen is all the ranks plus what ranks can go ahead and play with each other in the tournament so you guys can go ahead and see if you're gonna be able to go ahead and play with a team or not so basically just go ahead and pause on the rank that you are and see if you and your teammates are gonna be able to go ahead and play with each other but anyway guys those are all the ranks and what ranks can go ahead and play with each other but now moving on to the last part of this video team members we did the team owners but now time for the team members team members will be responsible for first agreeing to the terms of stage two and then messaging the individual uids and the last four digits of their open ids to the team owners in order to be added to a team so basically guys just go ahead and send all of your information to the team owner so you can go ahead and register you for the team now moving on guys each team member and team owner must have qualified for stage two of the card m world championship 2020 Teams compete with five players in ranked multiplayer matches, but can have up to six players on the roster. Team members and team owners must all be in the same region. So as you guys can see, you need to be in the same region to be able to go ahead and compete as a team. And I, I didn't even know that, guys. I only found that out while making this video. So basically, guys, I am starting a new team. So if you are in the other on the regions, comment down below, guys, because I am starting a new team. But anyway, guys, that is all the information for the stage two of the COD M World Championship 2020. Now, personally, I love the rewards. I think the rewards are very, very cool. An awesome looking character, plus 1,000 card points. And card points is always nice to go ahead and get. So anyway, guys, please let me know down below what you are thinking so far. And also, if you need a team, comment down below, because I guarantee you guys, there are some other people also going ahead and looking for a team just like me. Just keep a lookout for that. But anyway, guys, that is all the information about stage two that we do know currently. Now, we don't have a date or anything like that, but I have a feeling when they announce season seven, we are gonna go ahead and hear about stage two as well, which should be pretty soon, I think, in my opinion. But anyway, guys, like I said, that's everything we know about stage two currently. Personally, like I said, I am super excited and I cannot wait for it to finally come out. But anyway, guys, that is gonna be all for this video. I really hope you guys did go ahead and enjoy it. If you did, please go ahead and smack a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. But anyway, guys, I hope all of you have a great day and squally out. Cheers!